Let me talk on for me. That's all viral thing up on the internet. People start convincing that Jay kill him. And when I tried to cut ties with this manager more than once, my life was threatened. The second time I gun was held to my head. DCS TV. Yes, peeps, DCS TV here again. And, yes, as the title says, you know, Casanova, no friend of Alkaline because we are here from J Bad in this new report from the Jamaica Observer. They have an interview with J Bad. You know, and J Bad is stating clearly, say, all of this um, thing where Casanova say, you know, he was um, the writer or the songwriter for Alkaline. And him know him from school and all of the voice notes and all of that was all a lie. You see me? So, yeah, it's, a, it's a fake thing we are here, you know, from, from um, J-Bad, you know. So, that, this is J-Bad's side of the story, you know, because he come out and, as I say, him do a interview. And the interview was done today. Uh, will be released, you know, a video interview of what happened and things. So, yeah, may I read out to you know, go on now. So, basically, I say... Not so, Casanova. J Bad ref refutes Sing J, who has come out of hiding. You know, um, close to three weeks after he was reported missing, Casanova has suddenly re reappeared. In a tell all interview with Splash, the entertainer said he had to seek refuge for his former manager from his former manager, Sheldon J Bad Lincoln. Um, the Sing J accused him of verbal abuse, withholding his musical earnings, and death threats on his life and his family's. I have been under the control of a manager who has who was tearing down my career. It was one of the worst experiences I have had to endure in a long time. He was making me do music I didn't want to do. I was managing myself. I had to be doing my business and his also, he said. Casanova said he realized his former manager with whom he shared a residence in St. Catherine with his family for more than a year was controlling and didn't have his, his best of interest at heart. Things started to come to light when a person based overseas wanted to know why the business he had paid for wasn't done. I realized I was being robbed. I tried to leave from around him, but the first time my life was threatened and the second time a gun was held to my head, he said. Casanova said he sought the help of the 100-man police um, station and reported the matter. However, he was told to make a song about the incident and <laughs> clash it out at Sting. He said he had no other choice except to lay low. Casanova was reported uh, missing on Thursday, July 20th up to early this week. The Corporate Communications Unit of Jamaica Constabulary Force had still listed him as missing. Early this week, Casanova resurfaced with the help of his new management team. In this defense, however, Lincoln dismissed most claims by his former artist, admitting that they did share a St. Catherine residence, J. Bad said. He was showing acts of kindness when he invited him to live with him, himself and his family. He grew up in a strict Christian home and it was difficult for him to do music as he couldn't stay out late at night. He had a curfew. We are man, so when me talk to him, me not talk too soft, talk to him soft. Me not lie, more time me say some things to him where I could have passed off as disrespect. But I really feel stra to, to um, straighten him up because me look out for him, he said. Lincoln, you know, who is also um, J. Bad, that is his correct name. Lincoln denied he had held a gun to him, held, held him captive or robbed him of his musical earnings. I bought him just about everything he owns today. From clothes to few furniture, he never did a show, so he wasn't making any money. If a one time a man sent a small change for a dub and I take it, nothing no wrong with, because it's nothing compared to what me spend, he said. Lincoln said the two had issues leading up to Casanova's disappearance, but said he believed everything was resolved even the morning before he left. The Wednesday night, he told me he had to do something for his mom the following morning, and I said, okay. I spoke with him the Thursday morning about two times, and then when I tried calling his phone in the afternoon, it went to voicemail, he said. Lincoln said he later made con contact with Casanova's family to see if they knew of his whereabouts. The following morning, his mother told me she said had reported him missing. 
I knew he wasn't kidnapped or that he hasn't committed suicide as of some of his personal belongings were also missing. No one takes their belongings when they are going to get be kidnapped or commit suicide, he said. He said the house was searched by the police and he went to the 100 man station to give statements on more than one occasion. He is trying to be, bring he's trying to bring me down. If he if I was all that wicked and was holding him captive, why is he no why why does he now choose to leave when he had his own key and cell phone to call the police? He said, "We started his career with a lie. When we splice a voice note sent by Alkaline to someone else, he lied and made it appear that he was a ghostwriter for Alkaline. But the truth is, he didn't write a single line for him." We started with a lie, so now I guess he is ending it with lies. Yes, so I was on the ear from J-Bad. <laughs> Man said, all oh, Casanova, everything for Casanova was a big lie. You understand? And, and that um, him not really know Alkaline. You know, Casanova no know Alkaline like that. Him just, just a voice note them get of Alkaline corresponding with someone else and then take it and splice it and... I tell you, um, a lot of people believe into the, you know, um, the voice notes. I mean, at one point, I myself, you know, believed in the voice notes. But, you know, upon really going through it over and over, you know, you can see where they're splicing into it because they're not corresponding with certain things, you know, directly. You know, most of it, you know correspond directly but a lot sometimes you have parts into the voice notes where you hear him say certain things and he say what we're there you know but people end up work with it and thing and that's how Casanova get him name out there you know um as a former ghostwriter for Alkaline you see me so um what J Bad could have been doing is J Bad could have also be you know just as said that for you know bring him down but like how he might bring him down so it could be you know, j had try a thing right there, so again, for, you know, for, for bring Casanova down. But who knows, at the end of the day, you know, there's two sides to every story. And, um, you know, Casanova could really know Alkaline for real, but may I tell you, them vice knows that does sound splice, so it could all be fake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make an opinion on that. I want to know, comment in the comment section below. I me mean, me not want to feel about all of that, you see me? Um, what I do have to say about this matter is... In some, you know, not in all entirety, but in some aspects of this whole um, situation, there is um, certain things of it or certain parts of the situation where, you know, it seems to be true where there is a rift between the management team, you know, and the artist. But, you know, in, the, in that context, we would have said, you know, it had gone missing, you know, it doesn't seem like it was nothing of that sort. As in say, you know, Casanova did take him belongings when he may go missing. So, you know, a man now go uh, get get um kidnapped and be like, yo, hold on, let me take up things them now, carry with me like I'm gonna kidnap me. No, you know, <laughs> you know, and then I'll do that. So that's one of the reasons why I feel like the interview that J Bad um did um in last week he did an interview um and he stated that him ninety now like him ninety percent or ninety nine percent sure that Casanova is alive and well because he knew uh, he knew at the time that him belongs and he take up and all of that so him, that's why basically him said that but yeah it's a that's an interesting piece of topic you see me and can't wait for do they see the actual video footage reviews and everything from both ER and the Observer full interview both of them and so Casanova obviously and J-Bad as soon as me get them me go up upload them and thing and make them get all of the updates and stuff on yourself and then only be the judge you know when to get all of the stories combined but so far what i have to say on this you know is that casanova you know seems to be doing this for a publicity stunt and um for him to do something like that or make it seem like he's missing and have people worrying me not really support the side of it even though not knowing, yes, maybe his life was being threatened and all of that. And as him saying, he reported to the police, but I feel like he could have hung in a different way than him going into hiding and make it, you know, him whole family or people or whoever worry about him. You see me? 
that cause a lot of um, drama. I feel like now still if him for drop a song and the song is a good song. Um I feel like it may get it may get notoriety if the song is a hit song, you see me? But a lot of attention drawn on him right now and we just wanna see how this is gonna turn out. As me say, as me get the updates say me gonna drop them, my audience them see what I go on. Yeah man. DCS TV like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to leave in the comments. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. I'm out.